Okay guys, welcome back to another video of Robo CNC. I'm Marcel. Today we're gonna hook up the Technomotor HF spindle to this VFD, the Variable Frequency Drive from Delta. We're gonna set uh, the parameters of the Delta VFD. We're gonna wire up the Technomotor and just test it out. The Delta VFD, um, Delta is the brand name, and it's the VFDE, so Variable Frequency Drive Type E. And it comes uh, with a complete set of instructions, some software, some safety measures, uh, some safety instructions, and a complete uh, guide on all the parameters that uh, you can set inside this black box. Um, of course, I have read all the safety instructions, um, so I uh, really recommend you to do so also. Um, and it's not really needed to uh, read everything about uh, setting the parameters. We're going to take you through this. So I bought the 2 kW Technomotor HF spindle together with the Delta VFD. And I bought them both at Daman CNC. And the great thing about Daman CNC is, is that they also have this, uh, this piece of uh, appendix, the Appendix E, set up of a Delta VFD and a Technomotor. So we can just follow along and you can also follow along in the video. So the introduction. Um, most important thing to take note, there are multiple capacitors inside the VFD. So please take caution that even if you unplug the device from your outlet or your, your wall outlet, um, make, make sure to leave it a while because these capacitors are still full of energy and they can shock you. So be careful. Second thing to take note of is only use a grounded plug with a grounded wire. So no two wire connections. Um, I'm using the 220 or 230 volt uh, single phase unit. So I have a three wires, one ground with the grounded um, Euro connector. Um, I'm gonna power it by just using a plug for now because I'm just testing it and setting up the VFD. But if you're gonna use it in a permanent setup, always make sure to use a switch. Something like this one. Since I'm using the single phase unit, I'm done on the top side of the variable frequency drive. Single phase connection and the earth wire are enough. Uh, this one is not connected. On the bottom side of the VFD, we can connect a whole lot more. Um, most important thing is we need to do some settings inside this uh, VFD. So do not connect the, the UVW connections, which are the outputs to the techno motor or the spindle motor you use. Over here you see the B1 and B2 um, and a negative uh, pole. These are for uh, brake resistors. But if we take note of chapter 2 in the manual or the appendix, we can see that the brake resistor is used to uh, dump rotational energy into. Um, if it's necessary to have quick variations in angular velocity, you really need a brake resistor. resistor. Um, for me, I use an 18,000 uh, 18, RPM HF spindle uh, and if I'm fine with a three seconds run up time uh, from zero to full uh, 18,000 RPMs. If I'm fine with the three seconds, um, I do not need a brake resistor. So for my need, I do not need a brake resistor. I'm fine with the three seconds. So next up is to uh, do the settings inside the VFD. Um, you can do this in a whole bunch of ways. For instance, you could do this by computer and connecting the VFD to your computer and using the software. Um, I'm not going to use the computer, not yet at least. I'm going to remove this cap, which is just a cover. And I'm going to place this uh, great little piece, which is a front panel. And I'm going to leave this on, side, uh, on top of the VFD. So uh, from now on we can program it 
from this side of the VFD. Let's power the VFD up by putting the plug inside the, the mains box and uh, start doing some parameters. So setting up the VFD uh, is uh, quite simple using the appendix uh, Daman CNC delivers together with uh, the manual that Delta delivers uh, because in the manual you can see uh, what you're setting up. Um, so let's see. Uh, first off we have the 18,000 uh, RPM spindle so we need a maximum frequency of uh, 300 RPM. So enter the program mode like so um, and go to setting 1-00. So 1, press enter and go to 00, zero press enter. This is the maximum output frequency F max. Um, it's supposed to be between 50 and 600 Hertz. The factory setting is uh, 60 Hertz and for us the maximum frequency should be 300 Hertz which corresponds with uh, 18,000 RPMs of the spindle. So enter. Let's go to the next parameter which is 1-01. 1-01. This is the maximum voltage frequency F base. Uh, again, also factory settings is, uh, is uh, 60 uh, and we need to go to 300. Enter. And next up, press mode to get to the first two signatures. Go to 2, enter. Dash zero zero. So two dash zero zero should be D four, which is potential meter speed control. Um, two dot zero zero is set to four. Um, if you set it to one or no to zero, you can uh, get a, a frequency uh, variation by pressing these buttons. You can set it to one which is uh, 0 to 10 volts. You can set it to 2, which is 4 to 20 uh, milliamps. Um, 3 is through the RS485 connection. And 4 is with the digital potential meter, so this one. And we're going to use this one for now. So set it to 4. Two dash zero one. It's set to zero, which is source of first operation command. Not going to talk about this one, just set it to zero. Press the mode, mode, program. Going to 1-09. One 1-09, one this, is the, this is the acceleration time. So we set it to 3 seconds. So from 0 uh, to 300 hertz. 0 hertz to 300 hertz which corresponds with uh, 0 rotations a minute to 18,000 rotations a minute. Um, the ramp up for this is 3 seconds. Um, don't go below this because if you do want to go below it you need a brake resistor. Enter. And the same thing applies for the deceleration time. Um, same thing also three seconds. Okay, now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take out the plug. And this is the plug.
and now it stops. So I think you do uh, believe there are some big ass capacitors inside here. So please do not touch these or any of the connections of this frequency drive for uh, a while. What does Kevin have to say about uh, this while? Not sure, but I think I'm gonna wait for about 15 minutes. So chapter five, connecting the techno motor. Um, I'm not going to do an in-depth uh, review on triangular versus uh, star configuration, nor am I going to give lessons in uh, connecting uh, a motor. Uh, there are many on YouTube uh, you can find, but basically we are using a single phase uh, 230 volt connection. If you're using a single phase unit like this, and the techno motor we are in need of the triangle configuration so make sure your connection box inside the techno motor is uh, uh, correctly configured for triangular uh, connection you can find it all in this uh, appendix and after which we are going to connect these to the UVW connection. So connecting and testing the techno motor. So powering up the drive unit, the VFD. So let's see. Basically, if I push run and turn the potentiometer, it should start running. And it does. So no errors, everything works fine. Stop. So the techno motor, 2.7 horsepower, 18,000 RPMs, two kilowatts. Um, really like the spindle it runs really smooth there's no vibration or whatsoever it's really nice balanced i like the size it's 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 a nice size it's heavy so um, really think it's a great spindle i do not really like the sound it makes um, i was hoping for a somewhat more quiet spindle um, i know it's an air-cooled spindle so I didn't want to go for a Chinese uh, made water-cooled spindle uh, really. Um, 
well, I hope uh, most of the sound comes from the, the fan on top for the cooling. Uh, maybe it's replaceable by an electric uh, electric fan. Maybe uh, this way we can uh, reduce sound. If you know anything about that of, or seen it uh, elsewhere, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions about this setup, um, please let me know. I will uh, be happy to answer any questions. I think that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.